Hi, Akila. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. Akila is joining us from Houston, Texas. Akila is a Miss USA World Universal pageant holder, and she will be representing United States at the pageant which is held in September in Hawaii. So, good luck for that, Akila. Thank you. Thank you. So, Akila, do you want to tell our viewers about about yourself and your journey, and what does the organization World Universal Production represent? Yeah, so I'm I'm currently in Houston, Texas, but originally from California, and I had done pageants since I was about 15 years old for a really really long time. But as an adult, I took a break, focused on my career, and then also you know there was some negativity that I was experiencing. I'm not built like a typical pageant girl, you know. But、um, I really missed it, and so I found this organization, and it has been absolutely amazing. It's for all women over 25. It doesn't matter your marital status, your parental status, your size, your sexual orientation. We're really loving and encompassing, and really, our, our mission is—I mean, our theme is love is the universal language. So, no matter where you're at in the world and what type of woman you are, we really accept and embrace all women. So, I absolutely love being a part of World Universal Productions. And I think you talked about LGBTQ community as well. It represents some of the women who are represented on this platform are from LGBTQ community as well. Yes, absolutely. So,、um, two main issues that we like to champion are domestic violence prevention and women's empowerment, and then also supporting the LGBTQ plus community. So we do accept trans. Contestants into our program. Again, it doesn't matter what your sexual orientation. You know, if you're a woman, you're accepted here. Fantastic. And what is the kind of work you do as part of? You know, this year you have been crowned as Miss USA. And what what is the kind of work you do as part of the pageant? Yeah, I mean things have been a little more limited this year due to COVID. So unfortunately, I can't be quite as active as I would love to be. But my main platform、uh, personally is partnering with Lanisha Thomas and Pretty Ponytails. So I'm actually a hairstylist and educator, and、uh, my mother also was a foster parent. And so I came across Pretty Ponytails, where Glenisha provides hair care kits for underserved youth, those that are going through transitional housing and foster care. And it just immediately, I was like, "Well, that's me. That that's my life right there." So I'm just really excited to partner with them and getting the word out there for them. So I'm an educator for Wella, which is a large global hair color company, and they have a nonprofit called Hairdressers at Heart. And I connected them with Glenisha and Pretty Ponytails, where they were able to donate five thousand dollars. And a palette of product, and I will also about to launch in a couple weeks a drive, a national drive for all the salon owners that I know to collect donations and products for the week of my birthday at the end of the month. So really excited to spread the word about Pretty Ponytails. Fantastic! Happy birthday to you in advance. Thank you. And I'm sure that you will be doing a fantastic work as part of the philanthropy what you're doing. So. I mean, I understand that you know you talk talked a little bit about the challenge you face when you have been part of the pageants in the past. So, what are what is one of the biggest challenge you face? Well, I mean, I've always been a curvy. Like that's just what my body is. And so, when I was younger, obviously, you don't have the same confidence you do as an older adult. And I was trying to force my body to do things that it didn't naturally want to do or want to be. And so that's what I love about this system is you know, women are beautiful in in every stage of their life and any stage of their bodies. You know, we have we have mothers, we have grandmothers. Our current Ms. Our current Ms. World Universal Elite is in her 60s, and Robbie is a fantastic woman, absolutely gorgeous. And so that's why I embrace so much about this system is they accept you as you are and celebrate all aspects of women. Oh, that is fantastic.、Yeah. So. Akila, what motivates you on a regular basis? Because I know that you're doing, you're running your own business as a hairstylist at the same time. You're working with philanthropies. So, what motivates you to keep going? I mean, I love what I do. I love my job. I love this title, and so 
you know, life is short. We've noticed this last year with this pandemic, you know, things can just come to a halt at any moment. And so just getting up every day and, and going to work, I love my clients. I love that they come in one way and leave another feeling so much better about themselves. And again, working with Pretty Ponytails and, and the causes that we work with with World Universal. I mean, it, it's just to make this world a better place for, you know, for as long as I'm here, I want to do whatever I can to make it better. And Akila, where do you see yourself in another few years? What's your goal? Uh, well, my goal is, you know, once, you know, my business is really taking off, one of my main goals is I want to start my own nonprofit where I travel to more undeserved countries and teach women. Like I have a group of hairdressers that all volunteer to teach these women how to not only do hair, but also start their own businesses. So, you know, if they, they can bring themselves out of poverty or they can leave maybe violent relationships so where they can sustain and support themselves because it doesn't matter where you are in the world, like everyone needs their hair done, right? So um, if I can teach these women how to cut and color and run a business that they can be self-sustainable anywhere in the world. So that's my main goal. So when you do that, do reach out to me and we will welcome you Absolutely. here. Absolutely. I, I know I have some wonderful young girls who would be more than happy to go through the training and start their own businesses. And I think that is the future. We have to look at vocational training for these women to keep them occupied and at least earn a living. Absolutely. So Akila, thank you so much for being on this platform. And uh, do you want to tell my viewers a little bit about your business and how you started it and how you grew and then? So I've, I've always done hair since I was probably about 10 years old, but I still did the traditional route. I went to school. I have a business finance degree. I did corporate America for a while, but I just didn't fit in. I wasn't happy there. You know, I was good at it, but I wasn't happy there. So at the age of 28, I actually quit and went to beauty school and things just kind of took off from there. I grew up in Sacramento and then I worked in the Bay Area for a few years and me and another stylist partnered together and I opened up a salon. It was called Got Roots in San Francisco, where it was an express boot up jump bar and a training program. And then I was hired on also with Wella as an educator. So I get to travel all over the country and uh, work with my peers and, and just share what I love about what I do. And then now here in Houston, I'm still doing that. I'm helping with managing the salon that I'm at now. And like everything just kind of blossomed really quickly. I can't believe I've been in the industry for over 10 years already, but you know, time flies when you're having fun, but yeah. I, I, I love what I do so much. Yeah, so good luck with your future. I'm sure that with your zeal and enthusiasm, you will reach what you want to achieve in life. And thank you so much for taking out time to giving me this interview. I understand that you're busy with your philanthropy and your business, but you took out a few minutes of your time to sort of give me this interview. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So for my viewers, if you're viewing this channel for the first time, we have amazing women like Akila on this platform on a regular basis. So do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.